Once the talks between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ended, the reactions from Congress quickly poured in. On the GOP side, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell applauded the progress made so far. As Secretary Pompeo has reiterated, the goal of the United States is the, quote, complete, verifiable, and irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. If North Korea does not prove willing to follow through, we and our allies must be prepared to restore the policy of maximum pressure. Today, I congratulate the president on this major step and share his hope that it will begin a process that leads to an historic peace. Other Republicans, like Senator Marco Rubio, expressed doubt over the possibility of peace. He wrote on Twitter, limits to future strategic weapons instead of eliminating current program, not an acceptable outcome. Hope I'm wrong, but still believe they will never give up nukes and ICBMs unless believe failure to do so triggers regime-ending reaction. Over on the other side of the aisle, there was just as much of a mixed bag. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer criticized Trump for having a meeting with the North Korean leader, which he believes granted Kim's brutal and repressive dictatorship international legitimacy. The symbols that were broadcast all over the world last night have lasting consequences for the United States, for North Korea, and for the entire region. For the United States, it's permanent proof that we have legitimized a brutal dictator who has starved his own people. For North Koreans to have their flags astride, those of the United States, it's a clear symbol that they're to be respected and that they belong among the community of nations and that their sins at home and abroad are beginning to be forgiven. But not all Democrats were as critical. In a statement, Senator Joe Donnelly said, progress toward reducing the nuclear threat from North Korea is laudable, but the details moving forward will be critically important. Prior to the summit, Senator Jim Risch told CNN that Trump, Vice President Mike Pence, and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo all said they plan on putting together a Senate treaty on any nuclear deal with North Korea.